You're listening to 90.3 WHPC, the radio voice of Nassau Community College in Garden City, New York. I'm Bill McIntyre, and this is another edition of this week's Long Island News, the new show that brings you new stories about Long Island and about Long Islanders. And I didn't mention John Gallo because uh, he's AWOL again today, but no, he's not really. We know where he is. He's uh, healthy and he's okay and he should be back next week. And um, as I usually do, uh, my electronics tells me it's about 41 degrees outside, and uh, we got a mixture of gray skies and blue skies, and that's about all I can be sure of with the weather, because uh, you never know. But right now, let's get down to some, uh, some business. We have on the phone with us Daisy Calavia Robertson from Newsday, who uh, is going to uh, inform us about uh, what's going to happen Sunday, uh, I believe it's Sunday, yeah, I guess it is. Um, when there is no more plastic bags in the stores in Nassau County. I believe Suffolk has already done it. But hello, Daisy, are you there? Hi, how are you? Yes, I am. Oh, good. We're doing well. We're doing fine uh, so far. <laughs> how are... Thanks for having me on. Oh, anytime, anytime. And uh, you wrote quite a story about the... Uh, you know, like as a reader or when somebody says, oh, by the way, there won't be any plastic bags on Sunday, you, you just figure it's a point of information. But it does have quite a rippling effect, doesn't it? It really, really does. And people seem to be very interested in this topic, which is why I've written several articles about it. Um, you know, some people are just totally against it. They think that this, this new law is nonsensical and others are couldn't be more excited about it. Uh, people who are worried about the environment think it's a really, really great thing. So there are different opinions about it. All right. Well, I, I mean, the, the first thing, you know, there, was a, there was a meme up, uh, but pretty much for the idea being is, okay, so we'll get rid of the plastic bags. But when you look at all the other products in the store, they're all wrapped in plastic. Is this just the first salvo and then... Yes. Okay. I definitely think it is. A lot of, a lot of people who... Um, who, who say that it doesn't make any sense and that, you know, this law is really not going to accomplish anything. Um, I think what they're failing to realize is that this is just the first step, and they're absolutely right. When you walk into the supermarket, the shelves are lined with plastic. Even fruits, you know, from yeah. strawberries to grapes um, and a bunch of other vegetables are sold in plastic. But I think that this is the beginning and that those issues will be addressed probably through legislation as well as time goes on, um, and that we will start to see less and less plastic um, at different businesses as time goes on. Right. Well, do you think... Uh, um, I just think it's interesting that the first salvo, so to speak, about getting rid of plastic is something for the uh, for the masses to do, not the corporations. You know, well, it, it's affecting both of them. It's affecting the consumers, but it is affecting corporations because, you know, businesses have to comply. Businesses like supermarkets and them, yes. other retailers, um, Marshalls, mm -hmm. um, just pretty much anyone who has to pay New York State sales tax is affected by this. And they also have to comply, which for them, it comes with different costs, increased costs, because um, they've been using these plastic bags for years, um, and they've been, you know, affordable from their standpoint in, in terms of, you know, the, the bags are mass-produced, and right. because of the material, they're paying maybe, you know, two to four cents uh, per plastic bag. And now that they have to provide customers, well, they don't have to, but, you know, customers are expecting that the retailers are going to provide alternative materials to a plastic bag, um, which most of them are choosing to use paper. Paper. And right. paper which... bags are a lot more expensive than plastic bags. So it's something that is affecting not only consumers, but also businesses. Oh, sure. I was I was thinking more of a business like Pepsi-Cola that, uh, you know, sells a soda in a one-use plastic bottle. But even with that, you know, many... Um, and especially in New York, plastic Coke bottles and Pepsi bottles, 
you can consumers can take them back and recycle them at these uh, redemption centers and also at the uh, machines that you see outside the supermarket. Right. Um, I also wrote a story about that, funny enough, a few months ago about people on Long Island who collect these bottles um, and return them for the deposit to make ends meet. Well, so, yes, sadly, that's necessity. Uh, uh, that, yeah, I, you see that a lot. Uh, guys with shopping carts walking down Main you Street. You do see that a lot. Yeah. So I've yeah. actually had readers who have emailed me saying, why did they do the same thing they did with the bottles? Why didn't they impose some type of uh, refund or or fee on the plastic bags? But that's just not the way that the lawmakers decided to tackle this. No, issue. and they're going to they're going to get rid of the plastic bag. But they, uh, I'm curious as to uh, who makes the. Uh, and it does happen in the beginning. This has happened before. Suffolk County got rid of plastic bags a little while ago. And in, in the first couple of weeks of this new law, somebody's going to make a nice chunk of change for people buying paper bags. Because some people are, are totally, they totally forget that this exists. They'll go to the store yeah, on Sunday, course. they'll they'll mm-hmm. get to the checkout counter and they'll say, oh, crud, I forgot my bags. And I, Yeah, okay, give me the paper. And they're going to, you know, in a in a... A family of four or has a, a weekly shopping list, they're going to have about eight bags when they leave the store, and that's another, I don't know, four, 40 cents maybe it is. Um, that the point of that is, you know, if it's affecting you and if you are having to pay extra for it, then you'll remember the next time because you won't want to pay the 40 cents. That's kind of the idea yeah. behind this. And I'm so sorry to have to correct you, but in Suffolk County, they didn't get rid of plastic bags. What they did was they imposed a five cent fee. So even in Suffolk, this is going to be the first time where retailers completely do not have plastic bags. Oh, that's Before, interesting. they had them, but they were charging the fee. Okay. Okay. Did, did the use go down when they added the charge? Yes, actually, it went down about eighty percent. Okay, that well, that's so that interesting. That was a very dramatic decrease in use. Well, yeah, nobody wants to throw their money away. I mean, we don't mind spending money when we get good value for you know for a good product for the value of the money. But just to, you know, one week I went shopping and nothing happened. The next week I went shopping and I got hit for a buck for because I needed to carry the products out to my car. Um, you know, but that initial turnover, who's who, who's ever going to make the paper bags, I guess, is going to, you know, start a new, a new business or has a new, uh, a new place to sell their product. Yeah, increased the demand for paper bags. That's another, um, another worry um, that many stakeholders have um, with this new law because they're saying, well, you know, yeah, paper bags might be a little bit better than plastic, but are they really? Because the process of making paper bags is also not good for the environment. It requires a lot more water. Transporting paper, oh, yeah. uh, paper paper's heavier, so uh, you need more trailer trucks to transport it. So really the answer isn't let's all switch to paper bags. What, what lawmakers and environmentalists really want is for people to switch to the reusable bag. Right. A, a cloth bag that you would leave in your car and then bring into exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, exactly. That's, that's the actual intent of this law. Is there any indication of how the plastic bag industry is responding? You know, are they, uh, are like, they out of business now? or? Yes, they are, you know, as you can imagine. I mean, just put yourself in their shoes. I actually interviewed a Long Island plastic bag manufacturer right here in Melville. Hmm. They've been in business since 1958. Uh, they employ 300 people, and they're very worried. They, I mean, it, this is outlawing their their product. Right. So they, you know, they they went up to Albany for a public hearing with the Department of Environmental Conservation to make their case. Uh, the CEO, you could just see it on his face, how, how stressed out he is over all this. And pretty much the only thing they can try to do now is try to sell their product in other states which don't have uh, plastic bag bans and and try to survive that way. But their future is really uncertain right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that's got to be a gigantic customer base when you talk about all the supermarkets that just just supermarkets. Just supermarkets and then factoring the other retailers and um, also the fact that most of their customers were right here in New York. Uh, so now that where does that leave them, you know, yeah. um, to have to try to 
go and expand in other states and try to compete there where many people might already have um, companies that supply them with bags. It's just really going to be very difficult. Oh, very interesting. Um, well, uh, firstly, I have to uh, remind my audience, uh, you'll be listening to 90.3 HP, the radio voice of Nassau Community College, and this is... Uh, Another edition of this week's Long Island News, and I'm speaking with Daisy Calavia Robertson from Newsday about the plastic bag ban um, that's going to roll through here on uh, Sunday. Um, That's Nassau County. I guess it's actually New York State, isn't it? It's in New York State. um, It's a statewide law. However, I do have to make this distinction because you are in Nassau. Right. So... The law made it optional for counties and cities to decide whether they wanted to impose a five cent fee on paper bags. Oh, okay. Now, Suffolk County opted in, but Nassau County opted out. So, at most places, uh, at most retailers in Nassau, customers will be able to get paper bags for free without having to pay the five cents. Okay. However, but- some retailers decided, like, for example, Stop and Shop. They decided that they're going to charge the fee in both Suffolk and Nassau. The fee that they collect in Nassau, they're going to donate to environmental nonprofits. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, I'm curious, uh, will, are, are there any kinds of bags that are, will still be allowed? Like, you know, you go to produce and you get yourself, uh, you know, five peaches, you have a little bag to put them in. Are, are those going to? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, there are exceptions. And that that you just mentioned, that would be one of them. Also, trash bags that are for sale um, in the store, Ziploc bags, those will still be on sale. The bags that you get at the dry cleaners, the bag that the newspaper comes in, luckily for us, is also an exception. Uh, So there are quite a few exceptions. But just thinking about it. Traditional grocery bag is, is the one that is mainly outlawed. Right. So, uh, but, you know, the whole point would be to eventually, like we were saying, this is the first salvo uh, that would imply that we're going to go to those other things. I don't see how, I mean, how is Pepsi Cola going to deliver their their cola other than in a a bottle? And right now, plastic is the obvious choice. Uh, we're not going back to styrofoam, I don't think. that That's a, a bad idea, too. Or glass. <laughs> or, well, maybe maybe that's it. Glass, yeah. I, you know. Glass, glass, which is a, also can be recycled, um, and in a lot of other countries, you know, that's the main the main material that they use to sell Pepsi and and Coke and other beverages. But I guess we just have to wait and see. Only time will tell um, what other changes are to follow now. Yeah, right. Well, I have a question. Somebody asked me was. Um, Customers who pay for groceries using, uh, like, the SNAP program, um, you know, food stamps, are, are, are they, will they be charged for the bags also? All right, so the, the answer to that is uh, people who are on SNAP or who receive SNAP benefits or who receive WIC uh, benefits, these people in counties and cities that opted in, so, for example, in Suffolk, they wouldn't have to pay the five cent fee imposed by the government for bags. Mm-hmm. However, if the retailer, let's say I'm stop and shop again, just to use them as an example. Right. And they decide that because these paper bags are more expensive and they want to cover costs, then they're going to charge 10 cents. So uh. five cents they're going to get that they have to give to the government. Mm-hmm. And then the other five cents they're going to keep. So if I'm a person that's on snap, I wouldn't have to pay the five cents that is destined to the government, but I would still have to pay the five cents that is collected by the retailer. Right. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. Um, I have another question, too. When we, uh, there was a time when we had a water shortage, remember, they were in, like in New York. And if you went to a restaurant where they would normally put out two glasses of water as soon as you sat at the table, now you had to ask for them. Are those bags going to be uh, you have to ask for, or are they going to automatically replace the plastic you didn't get with the paper? I mean, that's, a, that's something that hasn't really come up. Um, I'm assuming that if the employee sees that you don't have any reusable bags with you, then they'll automatically give you the paper ones, but you just will have to know that you have to pay for them. Right. Uh, and I think that is, at mm. this point, you know, unless you've been living under a rock, 
this plastic bag thing has been everywhere on the news and the oh, newspapers yeah. and even here on the radio. So, yep. And also, I've noticed, too, that the cashiers at the different supermarkets that I've gone to just to buy groceries, they've been informing people. Um, they've been just talking to customers and saying, hey, did you know about this ban? It's going to take effect this oh, coming yeah. Sunday. Just wanted you to be aware. Right. So they're also taking on the job of informing customers who maybe didn't read about it or yeah. didn't hear about it. Well, I, so, think, I think we're all pretty uh, aware that no matter how much you scream it at the top of your lungs to most of the population, there's still going to be quite a percentage of people who are at the checkout line on Sunday saying, oh, my God. <laughs> you know, like, yes. I mean, uh, that just seems to be the, you know, and the, the main concern is. for retailers is that, you know, they don't want to get blamed. They don't want to get blamed as like, you know, we're not choosing to do this. this oh, yeah. is a, we're just complying with the law because a lot of customers do get upset and sure. they want to, you know, they want to scream about it or complain or they walk away mad. Yep. And it's really like the retailers are like, hey, this is, don't shoot the messenger. This is not our fault. This yeah. was decided by you know, legislators. Do you think that the supermarkets will create their own cottage industry now with, uh, uh, you know, p uh, cloth bags at the end of the checkout line that you can buy for nine ninety nine or whatever it is, um, you know, to, I don't know, kickstart their own little business of selling? Yeah, well, a lot of supermarkets are offering the reusable bags and that are not, not necessarily cloth, actually, but they're actually made of plastic also it's just a different type of plastic that can be washed and oh, okay. reused you know like the type that like tarps are made out of yeah um mm. and so those bags usually run for about 99 cents to a dollar 99 right. and uh, most of them are made overseas and so many of the retailers are choosing to offer those because i guess because of the price point the ninety nine cents, the dollar ninety nine. They feel that customers will be more likely to buy those. I uh, haven't really seen any at the six ninety nine price point. Those have been. Um, those are mostly the ones that are insulated. Mm -hmm. The bags that you know you can carry hot foods or keep right. foods cold. Those are a little bit more expensive, but the other types of bags are usually about a buck or two. Right. Well, the only the only uh, recommendation I could make to uh, people who go shopping is if you if you go shopping on Saturday, keep the bags that you brought home because you're going to need to bring them with you when you go back to the supermarket on Sunday for those things you forgot. I mean, that's just uh, one way. Otherwise, you'll be charged. <laughs> otherwise, you'll be, you'll be charged. 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 Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. Well, Daisy, I'm sure you're going to be on this story because you're going to hear all kinds of uh, feedback and, and things from when it happens Sunday. So Monday, Monday morning, your email will probably be full of stuff. <laughs> about yes. What, and even you know. now, if, uh, if people have any other questions, we did run a Q&A with Frequently Asked Questions okay. uh, about the ban. And that's already live on newsday.com. So if anyone has maybe a question that you and me didn't have time to answer in yeah. this lovely chat, they can definitely go out there and check it out on Newsday and newsday.com. Okay, great. And uh, when you find out something else, we'll get in touch with you. Maybe we can talk more about it. When, when For we, sure. When we see what it I does. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Daisy. <laughs> you take care. Thank you. You too. Don't forget your bag. No. I, <laughs> the new battle cry. Uh, well, we want to thank uh, we want to thank Daisy Calavia Robertson for uh, talking with us about the paper or the plastic bag ban, and we want to thank Newsday uh, also as uh, the stories were written in the in the paper, and you can go to Newsday dot com too and that uh, question and answer session that uh, Daisy talked about will be on there.